Vision Residence. After Endgame, we find vision and wonder in the 1950s in this sort of sitcom town. I think it's going to be a really fun surprise for the audience. The costuming on this is magnificent. The colors that we have to do for black and white, how it's different, it's just wild that you're thinking of those things. Maya, the designer, is such a genius and such an artist. This has been an incredible project for me because it allows me to design costumes of many fashion eras. WandaVision is truly recreating the experience in those shows decade by decade. We're all just getting to really invest with wardrobe, hair, makeup, design, everything. It's been such an imaginative and fun project to work on. This is going to be a guess! Wanda, welcome home. WandaVision fits inside of the larger MCU in that these are characters that we're familiar with and we love, but we're seeing them in a totally new environment and in a new light. We are an unusual couple, you know? Oh, I don't think that was ever in question. Let's roll and play that, please. WandaVision opens in a classic 1950s black and white sitcom. We are kind of recreating a whole era of television and trying to do it with this authenticity. For the first episode, it's the start of the sitcom land. <laughs> it's to an audience, and we've filmed it in front of a live audience. It was nerve-wracking, but I think it, it was so rewarding and so funny. What a charming door knocker. And cut! Through the course of the series, we see several different iterations of the golden era of sitcoms and television. Fine. This begins in a lovely way. But this is the MCU, so of course all is not what it seems. I think something's wrong here, Wanda. It feels really cinematic and epic. WandaVision is going to be a mind-bending and a very unique story, unlike anything you've seen before. Wanda and Vision. Aren't we a fine pair? Don't forget to like and subscribe.